Shalom, shalom. It's Bani Amyan from Rock of Yahweh Shaiman coming to you with some more precept. But this one, you know, we have to deal with unity. Because unity, the Lord wants unity from his people, man. Right? We be the Israelite. We have to be a, 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 per, a people where the other nations see us. They see us as wise and eloquent right nation but for right now our brothers and sisters been doing some foolery man been doing some things where we, we people not deem us as wise man people not deem us as they should deem us as the israelite we know we in curse and all this man but brothers and sisters who's waking up man we have a duty man to set example man to show the rest of brothers and sisters that we can unite, man, and come together. Just like when the Lord ordained us to do, man, to love each other, man. Right? And it's not hard, man. We know we've been captured and live amongst these Gawaiyam, man. And they, we've been taught a lot of things from their ways. But we have to get it together and refrain a lot of things from our mind and come back to the way of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Because right now, we have purpose for live for, man. A lot of time before, man, we it seems like we never have the purpose to live for. We just come here and work to a slow death. But now we know the truth, man. We have a purpose to live for, man. Right? And the purpose that we have to live for, man, we are the Israelites. We are the children of the light, man. We are not children of darkness, man. And we're supposed to be that children of light. We're supposed to be that inspiration unto each other. Right? For too long, I see brothers tearing down each other, man. Just waiting for a brother to make mistake, man. And then them start make video. Them start make all kind of thing about them own brother, man. We're supposed to love each other, man. We're not supposed to be that policeman waiting around the corner for a brother slip. And after a brother slip, you just threw him underneath the bus. Those days are gone, man. Right now we have to look at each other because we all we have, man. Right? So we need to clean up our act and come home to Yahweh Shimei and Shai in truth and sincerity. Before further ado, we're going to give all praise to the Heavenly Father. We say, call you all your Hawa, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ka'akadash. Brakata your Hawa, Brakata your Shai, Brakata your Hawa, Brakata your Shai. I'm Manuela. Yeah, man, the Lord is in the midst of Yasharala, man. So we need to get our act together, man, and start showing unity amongst each other. Though the Lord say gather together all nations not desire, we are the nation not desire, man. And let me kick it off with the first precept, man. And I go to Ephesians chapter 4. And I start at 1. And it reads, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, Yahweh Hashimi Shai, beseech you that you walk worthily of the vocation where wherewith you are called you ye are called yeah man so we are the prisoner for Mashiach Yahushai though the Lord dwell in us man right so at the end of the day man we be the prisoner for Mashiach Yahushai yo we have to do things to please the Lord man and the Lord says he left commandment with us for us to love each other man we can't tear down each other man we have to have unity, man. Let the other nation see us and see that we are rising and we're going back on our feet, man. And they have to look and wonder, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we're not going back to our old way of life, man. We're not going back to tear down each other. Like what these Edomites want to see and these Jebusites and these Parasites want to see. We're not going to give them what they want to see. We're going to do to please our maker, Yahweh, Shimei, and Shai. And the only way we can do that is unify with each other, man. Make the unity rule in the camp, man. Right? I see Brother Amos put out a video, man. And that video inspired me to come and do this video, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, man, we learn a lot from each other, man. Right? I don't know which camp don't learn from other camp, man. Right? Let me bring out another precept, man. This is Colossians. Chapter 1, and I start at 10, and it reads, 
that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being faithful in every good work and increase in the knowledge of Yahweh by Shimeon Shai. So we have to be faithful in this work, man, and we have to work, man, right? Increasing in knowledge, man. So when we increase in knowledge, man, we have to love our brother as ourselves, man. What we don't want done to ourselves, we don't try to do it unto our brother, man. If our brother make, make mistake, man, yeah, man, we go, man, and hold him up, man. We don't push him down, man, and throw him, man, and eat the bus, man, right? We're supposed to show love to each other. Don't you see the Eden? We're better than the Eden, but the Eden showing love to each other, the each other, right? But we are the special, peculiar people. Why we can't show love to each other, man? I understand. Simple Simon out there and simple jerk. We're still in the world, man. We understand for them plight, them not gonna show love. But brothers who in this truth, man, brothers who wake up from out of that darkness, man, and come over to the light, man. We have to take on to the knowledge, man, and show each other love, man, right? Because the day gone by where we used to show each other hate, man. The brothers and sisters who wake up in the truth, they must have this open, hand to the open arms to this love, man, right? Verse 11, and it reads, Strengthen with all might according to the glorious, according to his glorious power and to all patience and long suffering with joyfulness with all patience and long suffering with joyfulness man. right giving thanks unto the father which had made us meet to be partaker of the inheritance of the saints in light yeah man so we are the partaker of the inheritance in life man right Verse 13, and it reads, Who had divided us from the power of darkness? So we was once over there in the power of darkness, man. And the Lord divide us out of that, man. And bring us into his marvelous light, man. Right? So he divide us out of that power of darkness. Bring us into those marvelous light. What are we supposed to do, man? We're supposed to do his will continually, man. We can't, we can't step back. We can't backslide. We can't keep on hitting out our brothers, man. We can't eat pushing out our sisters, man. We have to rise them up, man. And it takes us, man, right? We have to find that time for each other, man. Right? It's lucky for the machine, man. Right? Verse 13, I read that again. Who? It's lucky. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, right? He translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, man, right? Of his dear son. Verse 14. In who we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. So yeah man, if a brother forsake us man, forgive him man, right? We have to find that time man to forgive each other man, if each other do us wrongs man. I have been through situations where brother do me wrong man, and I forgive brother man. I don't walk and hold up myself and hold up grudge against brother man. We have to leave these things behind man, because we learn these things while we are here among these go I am, right? So it's time to move on and stop with some foolish man to please the go I am. Because the go I am just wanting to see our downfall man. That's what they're here for. They don't want to see us rise. They want to see us fall. Right? So we need to get it together. Get, get it together, Yasharala. Right? Stop beating down each other man. Rise up each other. So each other can see the promised land. Right? We don't know who's gonna make it. But let us all come together, man, and push on through. Just like the Lord ordained us to, man. To love each other, man. To counsel each other, man. Right? 
A little counseling is good, man. More than segregation, backbiting, forsaking each other. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, and I start at 2, and it reads, With all loneliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. So it's for forbearing one and another in love. So yo, we're supposed to fight the good fight, man. Right? We're supposed to fight the good fight. And what's the good fight, man? The good fight is to steer into the spirit and do the will of Yahweh and Shimei and Shal. He said, through thy precept, I get understanding, man. Right? So we should steer in the precept. Do what the precept says so we can get understanding. Read them. The more we read, and the more we take on. He said, the greater you get, the, the, the more you get, the more humbly we should be. Not the more greater you get, the more violent you should be against each other. No, we have to humble ourselves and seek knowledge. And the only way we are going to seek knowledge is from the Bible. Right? We seek knowledge from the Bible continually, man. Every day, man. There is no stopping, man. Right? Let me get the book of Acts. Get the book of Acts, chapter 19, and I start at 20, and it reads, So mightily grow the words of Slakia. This is the book of Acts, chapter 20, Slakia. This is the book of Acts, chapter 20, and I start at 19, and it reads, Serving the Lord with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptation which before me by the lying in wait right so we're supposed to do a man we're supposed to serve serving the Lord with all humility of mind and with many tears and temptation which befell me so all temptation come upon us man remember what it said man if when thou come to serve the lord man set thyself a temptation man and constantly endure right which befell me by the lying in wait of the jews right verse 20 and how i keep back nothing and was profitable unto you but i've shown you and have taught you publicly right and from host to host so if we have to go host to host man to show each other what i go on man i remember i have to go host in my brother house to teach them what i go on in the scripture man if we take like that, man, we should do these things, because these things are charity, man. These things are love, man. Right? This is how we're supposed to treat brothers, man. Right? So at the end of the day, man, we have a lot of hard-headed brothers around, man. But, yo, we can't throw them away, man. We have to keep them, because what? They all we have, man. Right? And them, with, them is all we have. We have to keep her and motivate them. You can't teach a man how to humble himself, you know. These things are inborn concept. You know? Because at the end of the day, man, some man just born with certain happenings about them. Aggression, heated. They don't know how to humble them. Right? So, these things man born with them it's an inborn concept for a man humble you find a man who used to be such a hurry head for those all kind of madness and you see him humble long. it's of the lord right so if the lord put the spirit upon you 
You can humble down and be that good brother that the Lord ordained you to be. But you see, we the Israelite man, we have a duty to come out here and serve the Heavenly Father in truth and sincerity. We can't do as we please, man. We have to do to please Yahweh Shimei and Shai. Right? And let me get the book of Colossians, Coloss Colossians chapter 3, and I start at 12, and it reads, Put on, therefore, as the elect, as the elect of Yahweh Shimei and Shai, holy and beloved, bowl of mercy, bowl of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. So all these things we have to go man, go through, man. Meekness, man, long suffering. A Mashiach Yahushai come here, man, and he suffer for us, man. Right? He died for us, man. Right? So we, the servant of Yahweh Shimei and Shai, man, we have to remember what our master go through, man. And the little burner we are go through, our brother might give it some little hard take. Our sister might give it a little hard take. Suffer, man. Right? Go through, man. Right? Verse 13. Forbearing one another and forgive, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ, a Mashiach Yahushai, forgive you, so also do you. So yo, a Mashiach Yahushai come here, man. And he died for us, man. Right? He died for us and he forgive us. God, we was doing wrong things, man. We were sometimes foolish, man. As it said in Titus chapter 3, verse 3. Doing all kind of deplorable act, man. Right? But through a Mashiach Yahushai, rise up us from the dust that we was in, man. And rise up back and give a pure knowledge and understanding of the scripture. He forgive us so we can forgive our brothers for the heartache that they cause us. Right? I remember being around brother, man. And brother so hard against brother, man. Brother said, man, if him not the kingdom, man, and him see our next brother coming through the gate, him lock the gate upon the brother, man. And when I hear that, man, I couldn't even, I couldn't even imagine what I just hear. You know? I have to act like me don't even hear it. You know? I well, couldn't really forget, bring back that to our brother where our brother say about him. No, we're not left on that. We make that dead. We make that rest aside. Because we're not going to bring that across our mind. And look at our brother and think like of that kind of thinking against our brother. No care what I'm doing. We all we have. And we have to be our brother keepers. But we learned some little dirty ways around this place. Because we was pack up. And doing all kind of mother of evil with all these Gawaiyam man. These Eden man. They taught us so much. That's why we can't look at each other with a same eye as how you're looking at each other. You're looking at each other through the lens of your oppressor. So you don't see a brother as a brother. You see him as an enemy. And we need to depart from that way man. We need to see each other as each other. See each other as going through the same thing. Not because one may be upful and may be having more than another one. See each other as the same lineage. We're same bloodline. We're coming from half that same ship. Right? Some of us never got on the boat. Some of us was left behind. But we are the same bloodline. Right? So that's it on that. Let me get Mark. Let me get the book of Mark. St. Mark chapter 11. And I start at uh, St. Mark chapter 11. I'm going to start at um, verse 23. And it reads.
For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. So this is a talk about faith, man. Right? And read. And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe, believe that those things which he sh said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. So when you're praying for things, man, don't be half-hearted, man. Right? Have that faith, man, that it can happen. This is Amashiach Yahushai speaking. Right? And it reads, verse 24. Wherefore I said unto you that things so ever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So when we pray for things, man, believe that you shall have them, man, and receive them, man. Right? Because I see, I can fast, I can trap back, man. I pray for things, man. And when I pray for things, man, in the space of 20 minutes, man, what me pray for happen, man? So the man can't fool me, man, and tell me that Amashiach Yawasha is not real. He's real, man. Let me carry on. Verse 25, and it reads, Mark chapter 11, verse 25. And when you and when you stand praying, forgive if you have out against any. Forgive if you have any grudge against any, right? That your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespass. So we all have sin, man. Yahweh Shumi and Shai forgive us of our sin. So if we have brothers who done us wrong, man, forgive him, man, and the Lord will forgive us as well. Right? Because we can't expect the Lord to forgive us and we can't forget give up our brother that we are seen. Because we can't see the Lord, but we can see our brother. Right? And it'll take nothing for you to have like a counsel, man. Seek like a consolation with each other, man. Well, if you can't see consolation with each other, get to somebody who can, man, and make things happen. Right? Verse 26, and it read, But if he do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your tres trespass. So if we can't forgive each other, the Father said, Now go forgive our trespass, man. Right? As simple as that, man. So we have to learn for the Forgive each other, man. Kind of hard for forgive each other. Right? Let me go back to Ephesians chapter 4. And I start at 3. And it read. And devouring to keep the unity. What? And devouring to keep the unity of the spirit. In the bond of peace. So we have to have peace amongst each other, man. So we can keep the unity, man. Right? The unity of that spirit. Or Mashiach Yahweh be stole upon us, man. Right? Because we the children of the light, man. We are not children of darkness. Right? Verse 4. And it read. There is one body and one spirit. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling. It's a one body, one spirit. So we've been called in the hope of all our calling. Everybody have one body, one spirit, one mind, right? But at the end of the day, some brother might be in Australia, some brother might be in Jamaica, some brother might be in England, some brother might be in Canada, some brother might be in America, some brother might be in Switzerland, some brother might be in Holland. we the all over the place, man. But what? It said one body, one mind, man. Right? So we may not agree on everything, man. But what? We are the same spirit. The same one body, one mind. Right? Then it said, um, we learn in part. Right? Let me get that scripture.
right? I didn't read. It read um first Corinthians chapter thirteen and I start at nine and it said for we know in part and we prophesy in part but when that which is perfect is come then that which is in part shall be done away right so when a mashiach ya how shall i come man that which we know in part shall be done away he's gonna teach up everything and he's gonna put the law in our mind but for now we have to just go and crack on and do the will of your boy shimmy and shy man because we all we have we need to stay in the spirit one body, one mind, man, right? So let us march on and do the will of Yahweh Shimei and Shai. Continue, Wally, man, so he can have mercy on us, man, right? Let me jump to verse 13. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of Yahweh by Shimei and Shai unto the perfect man, Unto the measure of the statue of the faithful Slakia. The measure measure of the statue of the full fullness of Amashiach Yahushai. Right? So we have to come to the statue of the fullness of Amashiach Yahushai. Right? Read on. Verse 14. And it read. That we went forth. Be no more children tossed to and fro, right? So we know for being no children tossed to and fro, right? And carry about with every wind of doctrine. So we can't follow the Christian church tossed to and fro. We can't follow Baptist, right? We can't follow Jehovah Witness. We can't follow all denominations what them about that. We are the children of Israel. And we being the children of Israel, we're not supposed to twist and throw and toss and turn and walk to heavy denomination out there. Right? You need to come out of the Christian church. You need to come home to your heritage. Look how long you're in the Christian church. Nobody never tell you that you are a Hebrew Israelite from the scripture. That simply means for all these years you've been in there, they've been taking you for a ride and taking you all what you're going to have. Right? So now you high whooping to the truth. Take up your book and read your book. Right? Carry on. And it read. That we went forth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of man and cunning craftiness where they lie in wait to deceive. Because we've been deceived all time, man. You've been walking around, me a Baptist, me a um, Church of God, me a Pentecost, Methodist, all kind of this and all kind of that. But now we know the truth. The truth shall set us free, man. And now the truth set us free. What are we supposed to do, man? We're supposed to pray on and carry on in the righteous way. Now we know the will. How to serve our power, we have to serve our power by keeping his last statue and commandment. When we keep his last statue and commandment, obviously, we are going to go lower. The Lord is going to look to us and he's going to incline his ears unto us and start to listen or cry. Right? Let me get the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, and I start at 12, and it reads, In who we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. So true y'all by Shimi and Shai, we get boldness, man. When we go out on the street and we bring forth his word, man, right? We do it with boldness, man. We don't do it with fear, man. Because he don't give you the spirit of fear. So you know, so the Lord is heavy upon us, man, right? So we have the faith of confidence, man. And we know that Amashiach Yahweh Shai choose us to be his chosen generation right let me read on verse 13 and it read 
Selakia. Kasih tanda. Kasih tanda, right? Now, obviously, man, two we have this faith, man, and with this faith, you don't know them, so, man, with faith, you can't move mountain, man, right? Let me get the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, and I start at 17, man, and it reads, Therefore, if any man be in Amashia Kiawashai, he is a new creature, man. All things are passed away. So all things will pass away, man. We don't deal with it no more, man. We stop here to our brother, man. Right? We stop hit our sister and throw them away, man. Right? Those are old things. We pass that, man. We ain't going back there, man. Right? Behold, all things are become new. All things become new. So we start keep. The last statue and commandment cause everything become new. We become new man, new creature. Right? Read on. And it read. Verse 18. And all things are of Yahweh. By Shimeon Shai. Who had reconciled us to himself by Amashiach Yahweh Shai. And had given us to us. The ministry, alright? The ministry of recon reconciliation, right? So the Lord reconcile us, man, from out of all the darkness, man, and bring us to his ministry, man, right? So we here, man, we are doing the will of Yahweh, Shimei, and Shai, and Tilewale, man. And this is our way of life, man, right? And we need to march on in this way of man. We can't stop and turn back and go start the foolery like what them did having us doing in the first place. We have to refrain from that, right? Now let me get the book of Romans chapter 7 and I start at 22, man, right? And it read, For I delight in the law of Yehovah Hashim Shai after the inward man, after the inward man, man, Right? We delight in the law of Yahweh Shimei and Shaf, the inward man, the spirit man. Right? But I see another law in my member warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my member. So that is the flesh man warring against the spirit man. Right? That's why we have brother man. Let the flesh take over their mind, man, and them start do all kind of wrong to them brothers, man. Right? Because they're not staying in the spirit and doing the will of Yahweh, Shimei, and Shai. They make the darkness come over them, man. Right? Verse 24. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the, from the body of this death, man? Right? Because this body is wicked, man. Right? Because, yo... Sometimes you see a man lost all a hand, man. Him still alive. But the hand dead, man. Him lost all a foot, man. But his body still alive. Him have one foot, man. Him lost all a years. But why him still alive, man? This body, man, is wicked. Right? Let me carry on. Verse 25. I thank Yahweh by Shimei Oshai. I thank Yahweh through Amashiach Yahweh Shai. Our Lord, our power, so then, so then with the mind, I myself serve the law of Yahweh, but with the flesh, the law of sin. So the flesh is the law of sin, man, and the spirit within us, man, that is the law, to serve, that is the spirit to serve the law, man, and we get law, statute, and commandment. What we get from Yahweh Shibi and Shai, right? To do his will continually, man, right? So we have to keep on do Yahweh Shibi and Shai will continually to stay in the spirit, man. Let me get Ephesians chapter 4 and I start at 22 and it read That you put off concerning the former con con conversation the whole man which is corrupt according to the deceitful loss. You know, we, we used to be lustful. 
We used to be lusting after every little skirt will pass us. But we change our ways from that ways, man. Because we know that it is more than to lust after these women, man. Right? And these women have to learn. Because we have a lot of sisters who is coming on to the truth in a righteous manner and a righteous mind. And they stop. Parade themselves for everybody lost after themselves, after them body, man. Right? It's only the wicked ones who do not know what's going on still parading themselves like that. But we have other we have sister who is in the truth that making them body an example unto them so them can learn and refrain from that way of life. Right? Because the sister them as well, them have a lot doing. And they're doing a lot behind the scene and they're doing a lot out there as well. By showing the other sisters that them can look modest and them still look nice and decent. Right? And look immaculate. Them not have to show off themselves to look nice and decent. Verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So we have to be renewed in the spirit of our mind, man. Right? And that you put on the new man, which after Yahweh is created in righteousness and true holiness, just like the sister man, put on that new woman that Amashiach Yahweh shall created in you man, right? In holiness man, in righteousness man, right? Verse uh, 25. Wherefore, put putting away lying speak right so we have to put in our way lying tongues man every man truth with his neighbor man every man will be true with him neighbor man for we are member of Slakia. for 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 we are member one of another man so we are member one of another man right verse 26 be ye hungry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, man. Yeah, we can be hungry, man, but don't sin, man. Because we not this place, man. Every day we got to work, man. You must die a plantation and you must be hungry, man. Doing your work, man, and have it in your mind, man. Say, when is it becoming after this plantation? Sigh and cry, man, and ball and beg to you by shimmy and shy, man. Right? But don't sin, man. Just be hungry. Because if you're not hungry in this place, man, you love this place, man. We don't love this place, man. We don't love this world. Because this world is corrupt and wicked, man. We hoping and praying that we make it to the other world that is coming. The world of righteousness by Yahweh Shema Mashiach Yahweh Right? That's it and that. Let me get um, Philippian. Philippian chapter 3 and I start at 13 and it read Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehend but this one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto these things which are before, right? So we are going to forget the things that are behind, man, and we are going to reach for the thing that before. What is thing that before, man? The thing that before us, man, the new kingdom that is coming, man, that is before us, man. We don't see it coming yet, man, but we, we read about it, man, and we know it's going to be an everlasting kingdom, man, right? So we are putting our mind forward to that. We're not putting our mind forward to where we're coming from, man. To hell with round there, man. We are going to forward. Right? Verse 14. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh in Amashiach Yahweh Shai, man. Right? So that the calling where we're supposed to press in for, man. Right? Because at the end of the day, man, we don't have a fool around here, man. We're upon righteousness. And we are going to press on for righteousness. Right? And let me get the book of St. John chapter 13. And I start at 34. And it reads. 
a new commandment I give unto you that you that he love one another as I love Avslake, as I have loved you, that you that he also love one another. So this is the new commandment what Christ gave unto us, man. A Masiach Yahushai, man. He said we should love. He said, a new commandment I give unto you that ye that he love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that, right? You are my disciple if you have loved one to another. And disciple mean discipline, man. So we have to discipline ourselves, man, and love each other, man. Now, care the hard take where your brother bring you through, man, right? Have a council, man. Have a meeting, man. Have a consolation, man. Right? Get brothers on board, man. And work out things, man. Right? Because, yo, we all we have, man. And we all we have, we have to show love, man. And let the other nation see us doing things, man, that they didn't even think that we would be doing. Because we can show love to each other. Right? Let's stop the fighting amongst each other. We are the children of the light. And we wake up to the truth. So I know we start to do the right and stop do the wrong, man. Don't let this go why I am. See us tearing down each other. Right? So with that being said, I'm going to say, give our praises to the little father. We say, call you all your hour. By some, you are shy. By some, you are dash. Brakata ya hawa, brakata ya shy. Brakata ya hawa, brakata ya shy. I am well up. And I say a mighty shalom to all of you brothers out there that pushing the truth in truth and sincerity. Right? And I say shalom to all your elders, man. Double honors to all your elders out there that doing this work in truth and sincerity. And I say shalom to all the aqua out there that holding down the household and doing the will of Yahweh by Shimei and Shai, man, reverencing their husband, right? And knowing their lane, man, and staying their lane and doing the will of Yahweh by Shimei and Shai. And to all the children, them, man, who is reverencing the truth, man, in truth and sincerity, man. I say the mighty shalom unto you all, man, until the next one, man. Stay together. Shalom.